Good evening, everybody. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of English. Welcome, everybody. Please, with your camera on and full name displayed, let us make a stand for a Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, give me a second. I'm getting a little bit of feedback from, from one of you. Ana Maria Chicón de García. Not present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Serrano. La Bolsa. Cardevania. Not present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Débora Raquel. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde. Not present. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present teacher. Right. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thanks. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Antonio. Not present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Thanks. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Good to have you back, girl. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Tanda Verde. Present. Thank you very much. Miriam Carolina Mosso Valdez. Miriam Carolina. Not present. Rana Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, girl. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. Thanks. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thanks. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Thank you. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thanks. Anybody who just got here and, and I didn't mention? Ivania. Present. All right, all right, all right. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thanks. And Jose Antonio Cubias Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Well, you know the drill, right? The same every single day. What was yesterday's topic? There is, there are. Uh-huh. That's right. There is and there are. Yeah. Now, when do we use there is and there are? Um, we use there is and there are. Mm -hmm. For a singular or plural. That's, that's right. They use, as, as um, Sabrina is letting you know, that we use it to talk about something um, that exists or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That exists or not? When do we use there is? Singular now. Mm -hmm. Singular. No. Countable. No. No. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I say there is a computer? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, we can, yeah. right? So this is countable nouns, singular. What, how many computers? One. One computer. One. That's right. So I'm going to leave it here. Singular noun. There is a computer. And we also use it for what? There's another use. Oh. Um, there is is a countable. 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 Uh -huh. No, no. As a matter of fact, you are right. How else can we use it, guys? 
I mentioned this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Negative. No. Hey, you're just fishing in the dark, right? Uncountable nouns, guys. There is food on my plate. Can we count food? ¿Podemos contar la comida? No. Nope. We can count the dishes, right? The specific food. But we also use it for uncountable noun. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. No. No? Very good. I like when you answer. There mm. is some water. Mm. There is some water in the fridge. Hay algo de agua en la refri, no? So we can use it with uncountable nouns. No? No, then no. 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 Another one. There is money in my wallet. I pissed on mi billetera. Well, that's just an example, right? If you want to, about my real life, there is no money in my wallet. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So guys, we can use it for singular countable nouns, things that we can count, and also uncountable nouns. Like for example, water cannot be counted Money cannot be counted. There is a lot of um, work to do. Hay un montón de trabajo por hacer. So, is work countable? No. No. So that's it, guys. We can also use it for uncountable nouns. Hay agua, hay dinero, hay comida. Todo eso no se puede contar. Y se ocupa there is. No podría ser there are, porque cuando no se cuenta, no vamos a decir dineros o aguas. A menos que esté en botella. Ahí sí. Any question with this, guys? Because I see you kind of confused. It's clear. Um, for, for example, there is... Uh... A little coffee in my tea. That is correct. Come again, please. There is uh, a little coffee in my tea. In my tea cup or in my cup? Cup. Uh -huh. There is, yeah. There's a little coffee. Okay. There is a little. There is little, not a little. Because if you say a little, it's a cafe chiquitito. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you say there is a um, little coffee. In my cup. Uh-huh. In my cup. Hay un poquito de café en mi taza. So remember, guys, there is is going to be used for countable nouns and also uncountable nouns, okay? Now, what about there are? When do we use there are? Plural noun. Plural countable nouns. That's right. And that's it. Okay. Like for example, there are kids playing in the garden. Okay. Any questions on this one, guys? Yes, no, maybe. Can, can you give more example about the is? Sure. And this is actually what you're going to do right now, guys. You're going to look the things in your room and you're going to say, for example, um, there is a pillow. And you can show it if you, if you want. There's a pillow. Um, there are four hats, right? There is a bottle, I know that, yeah. There is a cell phone. There is a couch. 
right? There is no air conditioning. So you're going to describe the okay. things around you. Sabrina, there is cosas que tú puedas contar, pero solo vas una, singular, ¿verdad? Hay una cama, hay un televisor, hay un adorno, some ornaments, right? That's when you use there is. Okay. And for um, uncountable, let me show you uncountable, like this. There is water in my bottle. There is... Um, there is gas on this slider. I got an instance and in, yeah, there is gas on this in this slider, right? Gas is not countable. No se puede contar el gas. So guys, go to the breakout okay. rooms and try to make it interactive, right? Try to get things around you using there is, there are, and make sure you say it about negatives too. So share, show, and you're gonna have approximately about five to seven minutes to do this, okay? Go for it. Go ahead and accept the invite. Uh, just a second. One moment. Okay. Go. For Give me a second, guys. It's not letting me create the groups. Just give me a second. All right, everybody out. Don't accept it because I, I, I have only been able to create one group, okay? So wait for me here. One moment, please. Sorry about the inconvenience. Just a moment. Now I have to wait for everybody to leave the breakout room in order for me to create another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready. Okay, now you can accept it. Go for it. See you back in five to ten, five to seven minutes. Carlos, Rene, did you get the invite? Carlos, Rene? Hey, Carla, what's up? Hello. All righty, I'm gonna help you out while Rene gets ready and also Carlos was in your group. So show me what you got in your room or tell me about it. Um, for example, uh, there is a pencil uh -huh. on my table. Good. There are uh, some bananas. Uh-huh. Good job. Uh, with that one, remember that is all about context, right? You can say there are some bananas, there are seven bananas. There ah, okay. is a bunch of bananas. You can also say that bunch mm -hmm. is como un montoncito y así se le conoce. A bunch of flowers, ah. a bunch of bananas. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, continue. Rene, let us know when you're ready. In the meantime, continue, please. Hola, eh, hi, teacher. Ahorita estoy entrando a mi casa solo para pa. Y la cámara del teléfono me funciona al revés. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no worries. Uh, get yourself no, ready. Whenever 
Right. Así que ahí ya está. Ok. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me, Carla, in the meantime, what else you have right there? Ahorita me uh, conecta uh, la computadora para ya está. Yeah, go ahead. There is, there is a cup. Uh -huh. And there is. Uh, how do you say vaso? In Glass. Glass. Aunque sea de plástico. Yeah, you can say a plastic glass. <laughs> The thing okay, is, the glass is vidrio, is the material, and it's also what you have in your hands, the container, the drink. It's the same. Uh, ah, okay. There is a plastic glass. Uh -huh. And I'm, uh, there is some medicine. Okay. A medicine? Uh, ¿Puedes contar la medicina? No. You can say, there's a medicine. There's medicine. Uh -huh. Because only, if you say, only. only that. Because if you say, a, ah, you need to specify uh, a bottle of medicine. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Otherwise, it's just there's medicine because it's uncountable. Uh, there is a, bo a bottle of medicine. A bottle of? A bottle, a bottle of medicine. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, keep um, it up with uh, keep it up with Renee, and Renee, you can start talking already while you set up. Let me check another okay. Good job, Carla. Okay. I bought. There are a water. Uh, many bulbs <laughs> in my house. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, there are many bulbs in my house. The light, because when there is little light, there is much light. There are a lot of water, no? Agua. Water. Esto la podemos contar también. There is coffee in my cup. Like there is uh -huh, coffee, mm -hmm. cierto. There bueno, is pero, coffee in my cup. Ajá, porque no dice una taza de café, solo dijo café. Ajá. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. All right, keep it up. Keep, keep watching, there is, guys. There keep is, watching. There is a uh, dot fuck. Uh, in the in the underground <laughs> okay uh, there is a back <laughs> okay. okay make make sure that you use negatives and ah. jocelyn and ada i want to hear you too singular and 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 plural so look around. okay in my case there is a lamp there is a tv there are two chairs, there is a kid, and there are many toys, there are a lot of teddy bears from my of, daughter. A lot of teddy bears. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Oh. Muchos teddy bears. peluches. Yeah. Also the peluche. Peluches, yes. Go ahead, mm -hmm. keep it up. Okay. There, there are um, there, there are, are not, um, there are not are, five beers in the tree. Um, there are not five birds in you the can beer, that, in the tree. Yeah, you can say that, Carlos, only if you're going to specify how many. Lo puede decir si va a corregir y a especificar cuántos. Porque si no, si yo vengo a usted le digo, mira, fíjate que en ese palo no hay cinco pájaros. Yo me voy a quedar así como que, ajá, y entonces, ¿cuál es el punto? Ah, oh. no, fíjate que no hay cinco, hay siete. Ah, no, pero siete. Right? <laughs> okay, Other than that, you, you, you don't really say, you don't really use it that way. De, entonces tendría que decirle como la, la, lo negativo y lo positivo y lo afirmativo. En la misma oración. That, if you use that context, yes. Pero solo es como que está corrigiendo. Hey, mira, no hay cinco pájaros, hay siete. Solo para como corregir que la persona hubiese estado equivocada. De lo contrario, simplemente... Y si fuese cierto, entonces esa sería como una pregunta. No. 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 ¿Cuál es el propósito que yo le diga que hay siete pájaros? Ah, no, perdón. ¿Cuál es el propósito que yo le diga que no hay siete pájaros? Como que los estemos viendo o estemos contando algo en el, en el árbol en ese momento. Exacto. Pero yo solo le puedo decir eso. Si usted me dice, mira, ahí hay cinco. No, no hay cinco, hay siete. 
Porque si usted okay. solo lo dice así por así, no tiene sentido. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y, si, y si yo digo, there are not two elephants in the zoo. Es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Sí, es the same thing. Porque para qué me va a decir eso usted si no me va a corregir. Como que te estoy contando algo de que fui al zoológico y te digo, hey, no hay dos elefantes en el zoológico, hay menos <ríe> o hay más. Ajá, sí, entonces, que... en, vez de no, en vez de meter eso, usted me va a decir, mira, hay un elefante. Ah, yeah. ¿Para qué me va a decir que no hay dos? Si de un solo me puede decir la cantidad. No sé si me entiende. Entonces, ah, en... ok. Si yo digo, mira, fíjate que no hay, no hay cinco mesas en esos restaurantes. Usted se va a quedar, a, ok. No hay 20 estudiantes. O sea, a menos que me, el contexto lo requiera, que, que yo le diga, mira, no hay 20, hay 25 y no cabe. Solo ¿Y si ahí. Fuese, y si fuese there is, there is not a horse o there is not a dog. In the house. Eh, ahí es más, ahí se entiende más. No hay perro en la casa. Pero si usted quiere hablar como que más, no hay cinco ah. perros en la casa. Uh -huh. Si el contexto no lo pide, como que no tiene mucho sentido. Ok. Si no, más, más adelante le puedo explicar para no consumir más tiempo del grupo. Generalmente no se ocupa así por así, solo que tenga que corregir o el contexto lo pida. Bueno, es solo una, 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 algo más. Este, uh -huh. Le voy a aparecer ahí dos veces conectado, pero que estoy una vez conectado en el chat. Eh, por el chat estoy conectado en la PC como Carlos Duarte y, y estoy como Carlos Armando Duarte. Para la hora de hacer los grupos no se vaya a confundir, que me pareció que, que estuvieran dos grupos. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, I got you. Ok, good. Okay. Si, es, si es posible, desconectese del otro. Ok. Ok, very good. Keep it up, guys. Uh -huh. okay. Fátima, o sea, I want to hear you. There are no horses in the farm. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another one who's Antonio, another Fatima. I need, you know, more speed in this, more production. <laughs> There is There no a... uh -huh. Fatima. Okay. There is not a pool in the house. Okay. Good example. Another one, Jose. There are aren't box vaccines in Guatemala. Okay. Great example. That's what I'm talking about. Carlos Armando, give me another one, please. Mm, no, there, there is not, there is not a tree in the garden. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. All right, keep it up, guys. More production, please. Okay. What's up, John? Tengo una duda, ¿cuándo usar no? En no, o sea, solo no, la palabra no. O sea, um, normally, whenever you use not, a, not uh, there is not a, you need a way to count it. Okay. Uh -huh. There is not a single soul in this town. No hay ni, un, ni una sola alma en este, en este town. So siempre necesitas un noun que sea con a o an. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, okay. Otherwise, you're going to say there is no money, for example. Is there is no money, uh -huh. lo vas a ocupar más que todo con incontables. Con, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Pero también se puede con incontables. There is no apple in the fridge. No hay una manzana en la red. Eso también se puede decir like that. Si tú vas a ocupar el at, tienes que incluir un artículo. There is not an apple in the fridge. 
So, si tú ocupas nada más no, vas en el artículo, ya sea a o an. Okay. Si te ocupas not y estás hablando de algo en particular, tenés que poner el a, tenés que poner el an, nor a, nor an, not file. Tenés que ser específico. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Mi otra pregunta, pero se me olvidó. <laughs> ok, write it down. I need to see who's, I think. Yeah, write it down. Mm -hmm. I know it's Fernando's turn today. All right. Give me more, guys. I need, I need to hear more. Uh, no, teacher. This is a question. Okay, give me some examples, please. Okay. Um, uh, there is no kitchen in my house. Is for? Yeah. Good. Okay. And there is rice in the kitchen. Good. For example, there isn't coffee in my cup. Nice. Uh, there is a new car in my house. Nice. Good. Good job. All right, let me check one more group and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Or something like that. You can use an, an example or or thing that you have in your house or in your um, room. All right, guys, give me some examples, please. You got a minute. Okay. Right now. Y yes. Okay. There is a bed. Um, there is a notebook. Good. There are some on the on my room. In my room. There are not in my room. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry to say sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, there are. I'm sorry. There is not TV on this room because okay. it's my brother's room. Good job. Good job. Um, um uh, let me hear Deborah, please. Okay. There are there is uh there there is a TV in my room. Uh huh. And there are the some toys uh, uh, in my in my room. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Volunteers, please, for the examples. Volunteers. Good, good. Go ahead. Uh, there is no coffee in the cup. Mm -hmm. There's no coffee in the cup. Good. There is a plant in my garden. Mm -hmm. plant. Solo the una. Garden. That's very specific. Yes, one. Okay. <laughs> I don't like plants. Uh, uh, I don't know. There is right in the kitchen. Good. There is a kitchen in my house. There. Okay, yeah, good. Very good. Example with there are, please. <clears throat> Anybody? There are many dishes in my kitchen. Okay. Clean or dirty? Clean. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> Give me some more, please. Uh, there are some eggs. Uh, on my fridge, in on top. Okay, on top of my fridge. Fridge. Uh huh. Okay. There are some bad player soccer in my teams. Come again, please. Come again. There are some bad, bad player soccer in my teams. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk like that about your about your team. Really, my teams is really. <laughs> soccer players. No. Soccer players. Soccer, soccer players. Play. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> very good. I liked it. There is no pause. Carla, don't move. Don't move, Carla. Don't move. How do you say 
uh, put what you're eating in front of the camera, please. Are they in it? Put what you're eating in front of the camera. Ponga lo que está comiendo enfrente de la cámara. Okay. So what example can you give me about that image, guys? Hay una banana. There is a banana. Okay. Hay una banana medio comer. Una banana medio comida. There is a half ban banana part, no sé. Half eaten banana. Half eaten banana. Uh -huh. That's right. Enjoy your banana, Carla. They are delicious. I like bananas. All right, guys. Let me ask you something. What's difficult for you to create examples? Repeat. Um... Was it difficult for you to create examples? ¿Fue difícil para ustedes crear ejemplos? No, really. Just difficult for me uh, about countable and uncountable. Okay. So, Sabrina, do me a favor. Uh, create a couple of examples with countable and uncountable. Send them to me, and sooner or later, I will check them. Okay. And I will let you know if it's correct or not. Okay? okay. Guys, tengan la confianza de decirme si tienen algo que no entienden, escríbanme. Soy de los teachers que se toma el tiempo fuera de la hora de clase en ayudarles. Antes no tenía tiempo, hoy desafortunadamente tengo bastante tiempo por las próximas <laughs> par de semanas. Okay? Teacher, you, teacher, you say, eh, you say, eh, you, de, ay no, en español. Ah, la, la, try, la, try to do it in English, girl. De, de, de lo que lo que le enviamos los yeah, audios, the audios. The audios behind, uh, feedback you say yes I will. I will I will I will I will I'm taking my time guys like I said there's been a couple of health issues and most of the times I'm sleeping during the afternoon hey don't judge me I have to recover okay guys so there is there are is uh, very useful whenever you are practicing English so we're going to be practicing the questions today let me get him right here <laughs> Here. Repeat after me, please. I will be able to. I will, I will be, be able, able, to. able to. Ask and tell information about places at a company. Ask information, information about a place in your company. Ask and tell. Ask and tell. Ask and tell. Information. Information. information about places at a company. About places in my company. company. Okay, alrighty. I will be able to ask and tell information about places at a company. I will be able to will be ask able and tell to information about information places at about a company. Places at a company. <laughs> Volunteer to read it, please. I will be able to ask and tell information about places at a company. Very good. So we'll be able to use this right here. Say it after me, please. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Michael Perez. 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 <laughs> yeah. Paris, Paris, Paris. There's a saying, guys. Según las normas gramaticales, ustedes tienen que tratar de producir los sonidos en su lengua natal. Okay. So, for example, if I say, "Hi, my name is Alejandro." Así lo tendría que decir porque así se pronuncia originalmente. Sin embargo, se considera muy educado tratar de adaptarlo al idioma que ustedes están hablando. So, yo puedo decir Alejandro. Hey, this is Alejandro. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero adaptarlo al inglés. Una, Pero no Alejandro, es nada más que una Alejandro, cortesía. Alejandro. Okay? Alejandro. <laughs> It's just a courtesy, guys. Try to adapt it to the original language. That's the point. So, one more time. Good morning. Are you Michael Paris? Good, Good morning. morning. Are you Michael Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. 
My name is General. General. I'm the supervisor on duty. I am the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? Sure. There are conference room. 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 room in there. We are here. And if so, and if so, so cold, are there enough seats for the sisters? Are there enough seats for the sisters? Don't worry about it. Listeners? Listeners. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. Got, Got, it. Got, it. Got it. Got it. How about lunges or recreational places? How about lunges or recreational places? Is there a lunge? Is there, is there a lunch? 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 Yes. It is in front yes. of the cafeteria. It is in front of the cafeteria. Inside the new building wing. Inside, Inside the new building wing. wing. All right, let's do it again. Good morning. Are you Michael Paris? Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Are you Michael, Michael Paris? 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 Good morning. Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I am. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. My name, My name is Jane Jenner. Jenner. I'm, the I'm, the I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. This one, the pronunciation of this is going to be with a Z, Miss Miss Jenner. Miss Jenner. Miss Jenner. That's right. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? Let's get started. Let's get started. A conference room in here, yeah, please. Here. Conference room here. And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? And if, if so, so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. The conference room is next, next to the training room. room. Got it. How about lunges or recreational places? Is there a lunge? Got it. Got it. How about lunge or recreational places? Is there a lunge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. Yes. yes. It is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. New building wing. Very good. Translation services, guys. Good morning. Are you Michael Paris? Buenos días. Buenos días. Yes. Eres Michael. Tú, Michael Eres Pérez. Miguel Pérez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miguel, that's right. Michael Pérez. Yeah. Okay. No comment. Good morning. Yes, I am. Buenos días. Sí. Buenos soy días. Yo. Soy, soy, soy yo. Ah. Sí, soy yo. My name is Jane Jenner. I'm the new. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Mi, mi nombre oh, es Jenner. Soy el supervisor a cargo en este momento. O sea, on duty es como. Uh -huh. Super, on duty es que ustedes están. How can I say it? En turno, um, o sea, son el supervisor de turno, no sé. Ajá. On duty también es que ustedes están trabajando. Ok. Right? So let's say that I'm a police officer and you call me. Hey, Narbona, I want to go for a drink. Nah, man, I'm on duty. Right? On duty también significa que ustedes están laborando. I'm on duty. Okay. Nice to meet you. Un gusto de conocerte. Gusto. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Hacer conocerte. Encantado de conocerla, señorita Jenner. Ajá. Let's get started. Empecemos. Empecemos. Ajá. Todo ese montón de letras para empecemos, mira. Démosle. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? Yeah. Hay aquí una, 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 sala una sala de conferencias. Hay una sala de conferencias. Ajá. Hay sala de conferencias aquí. 
pretty much. And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Eh, y si hay, hay suficientes espacios para listeners eh, escuchadores más como oyentes. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Y si los hay, o si lo hay, y si hay. So, uh -huh. hay suficientes uh, asientos Espacio. para los oyentes. ¿Oyentes? Uh -huh. Sí, absolutamente. Sí, absolutamente. The conference room is next to the training room. En la sala de conferencias está la parte de la sala de entrenamientos. O de capacitaciones. Uh -huh. That's right. Got it. Entendido. Entendido, entiendo. Uh -huh. How about lunches or recreational places? ¿Qué tal los salones o lugares recreativos? Is there a lunch? Hay algún so, salón. Ajá. These, these uh, rooms are for you to rest, for example. You can have a couch, you know, there might be a TV. A teacher's lunch is where they go and, you know, they have rest. Mm. Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria. Sí, está frente, sí, está frente, a, la frente a la cafeteria. La cafeteria. Inside the new building wing. Adentro de la, del nuevo, no. ¿cómo se dice? Anexo del edificio o nuevo... Nuevo anexo, nueva ala, literalmente. Nueva ala. Mm -hmm. La nueva ala. That's right. So, guys... How do you say, let's let's get this done real quick. Let's complete this. How can we ask this question? There are enough seats for listeners. Uh, is there? there? Is there enough? Is or are? Are. Is are. 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 Why are? Ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Plural. Uh -huh, because we're talking about seats. Right? Seats. So, yeah. uh, are there enough seats for listeners? And the answer is? Yes, yes, there are. Yes, there are. There are. Yes, there are. There are. Yes, there are. And if we would say it in negative? No. No, there aren't. There aren't. No, there aren't. Correct. Keep it in mind, guys. There a conference room is or are? Is is why there a conference room? A conference room. Why? Singular. Because it's singular. And what is the answer? Yes, there is. Listen. Yes, there is. Ah, guys. There is. Please don't do this. You cannot contract in here. Okay. Okay. Yes, there is. Or? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Here you can contract. In the negative, you can contract it. In the affirmative, you can't. Okay. Any questions on this, guys? No question. All right. I like your taking notes. I see that. The screenshot. Yeah, that's right. You read my mind. Leíste la mente. I uh, just want to find you real quick. Just a second. I got a lot of messages. Uh, here you are. Okay. This class is going to be quick as far as the grammar. Careful with the, the microphone, guys. Say with me, please. How to use there is and there are in questions? How to use there is or there are, they are in questions? Okay. Look at the words in bold and complete the statements in the box. Look at the words in bold Look and the words. complete the statements in the box. Come on, guys. I need everybody repeating it, even though I cannot hear you all at the same time. Everybody repeating. Look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. Look at the words in bold and complete the statement in the box. Is there a meeting room in your, in your company? Is there a treatment plan in your workplace? Are there enough representatives? Representatives? Good. Uh, guys, I'm trying to mute a couple of you because, like I said, I'm, I'm getting a lot of a lot of feedback from one of you, like the, the microphone is being hit. 
So I'm muting several of you to see who, who it is. All right, last one. Are there many restrooms in your work? Are there many restrooms in your work? Mm -hmm. To ask singular questions we use. Is there, is there, is there, is there, is there, is there, and to ask plural questions we use, are there, are there, are there, are there. Are there. correct, there. Yeah. that's right, now, how do you say, I, this is not a question, this is a statement, I, un salón de reuniones en tu compañía, is there a meeting there room is, in your company, statement, there is not question, a meeting room, Ah, okay. There, uh, is, there, is there is a meeting room in your company. There is a meeting room in your company. Okay. And how do you say I? Again, a statement. Hay una planta de tratamiento en tu trabajo. There is a plague there statement is a, a, for your work. Plan in your work plan. In your workplace. How do you say hay suficientes representantes? O agentes, alumnos. There are no representatives. And how do you say hay varios baños en el trabajo? There are, there are many, many restrooms in your work. In your work. So, guys, let me ask you something. What is the only difference between the statements and the question? Order Just of change. there and better be. Yeah. This, right? Instead of there is, we use is there. Yeah. Right? Instead of there are, we use are there. Are, are there. there. Y que no es lo mismo con prácticamente todas las que hemos visto. I am, yes, am I. You are, are you. So you're always going to be playing with the subject and the auxiliary. Okay. Is this clear on how to change it from an affirmative to a question? Yes, Is this clear? Yes. It's clear for me. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. So, what is the answer for this, guys? Is there a meeting room in your company? Uh, yes, there is. Or... Yes, there is. There is. There yes, there is. is or... No, there isn't. The, no, the <laughs> and what about for the next? What is the answer? Yes, there is. Yes, there and is. Or no, there isn't, right? No, no, there isn't. Is. is it the same answer and the same and the same uh, questions? There are. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Are, no, are there are. enough? Yes. There are. There, there are. are. No, there are. No, no, there are. Correct. No, there aren't. Correct. And for the last one, are there many restrooms in your work? Yes, there are. There are. No, they aren't. The same, right? Yeah. Okay. So remember this. In the question, you have the answer. And most of the times in the answer, you have the questions. Guys, are these yes, no questions or informational questions? Yes, no question. Yes, no, yes question. no question. What are the WH words that you remember? What, why, what, how, why, how, why, how, where, how, where, which, where, where, which, which when, 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 what time, what time. Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, very good. Let's leave it there. What is the only difference between a yes no question and a WH question? The WH question is for more information, in uh -huh. the other is only for yes no. But as no far question. as the structure, uh, w -H. the WH, WH. WH word comes first. Uh -huh. The WH word comes first, okay? Acuérdense, guys, de las preguntas sí o no, 
podemos sacar las WH. ¿Cuál es la única diferencia? Le ponemos la WH al principio. Con todas las estructuras que hemos visto hasta el momento. So, can I say what? Can I use what here? No, maybe when. When there is a meeting in your company. Ah, but when there is. Remember that here? Good, I like your participation. We have to keep it like this. Sure. We don't change it. Okay? Can when I say, can I use why? Yes. 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 Why? So guys, how can you answer this? Why is there a meeting room in your company? Be because yes. we have many meetings on, Me mm -hmm. on the week. Aha, uh -huh, because we have many meetings during the week. Good job. Can I use how? No. 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 Yes, we can. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Now. Como que están preguntando cómo es. Como que uno está cuestionando. Uh -huh. Está cuestionando. ¿Por qué hay una sala exponiendo? Ajá, pero no, no, no literalmente como why, sino que como una, ¿cómo um, podría decir? Cuando, cuando llegaba mi mamá y me decía, how is there a girl in your room? <risa> right? No, right. no me dejaban, I, I was not allowed. No, it's not allowed, viene en la otra clase, ¿ok? So, how is there a girl in your room? Como que, ¿por qué está ahí si tú ya sabes que no puedes? Right. Me están cuestionando del por qué. No la explicación, porque obviamente no importa qué le conteste yo, siempre me verá regañado, ¿no? So, if you say, how is there a meeting room in your company? Es como que no tuviera que estar ahí. ¿Me entienden? Como que está yeah. cuestionando el por qué, pero no le están, la verdad, pidiendo la opinión, sino que, que sí la puede dar, pero lo están cuestionando. Es decir, que no debería de estar. ¿Es that clear? Clear or not clear? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's say that is you are working, right? And you have a beer, a can of beer on your desk. Están trabajando y tienen una lata de cerveza en el escritorio. Y llega su jefe y le dice, how is there a beer on your desk? Right? It so is no in my beer. Uh -huh. it, it, is, uh, it has no alcohol and it's my lunch. Right? Puede ser. It could be. <laughs> Pero en sí no le está preguntando, no le está diciendo explícame, sino que lo está confrontando. Porque usted no debería de tener una cerveza en el escritorio. Como un regaño disfrazado. ¿no? Exactamente. It's scolding you. So, el how o una sorpresa de que cómo es que hay pero no es así una pregunta. ¿Me entienden? Solo es una expresión de, hey, ¿qué onda ahí? All right, let's posible. continue. Como posible. Como qué barbaridad, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Where is there a yeah. meeting room? Can I use this? Yes. 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 Not really. Because you're going to say, where, where the is I the meeting room? That's it. Ya, ya hay algo para eso. Where is the meeting room? So normally you don't use it. Which is there? No. No. When is there a meeting room? Yes, or no. In this case, no. Uh -huh. In no. this case, no. So the basic illustration. And most of, most of them, you don't, you're not going to use mm -hmm. where are there enough, when are there enough representatives? We normally don't use them. Mm -hmm. What time? What time? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Nope. No. No. Who is there? A meeting room? Mm. 
Nope, it doesn't make yeah. sense. So guys, pretty much you're gonna use why, you're gonna use how, and you can use who, but only para, but only to say who's there. Quien está ahí, es, es otra cosa. Who's there? Just for you to say, quien está ahí. Okay. Who's there? Who's there? Quien está ahí? How do you say quien está ahí? Who's, Who's there? there? Who's, Who's there? there? Mm -hmm. Who's there? That's right. Okay. Any questions on this? No questions? No. Oh. Are you churro? Yes, I am churro. Sure. <laughs> hey guys, that doesn't exist, okay? Please don't tell anybody, are you churro? The correct pronunciation is, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm just playing with you. All right, let's do this, guys. Read after me, please. Is there a conference room in your company? Is there a conference room in your company? In your company? In your company? In your company? Yes, there's one. Yes, there is one. There is one. It is next to the manager's office. It is next, it is next, next, next to the manager's office. office. All right, so training rooms. What's the question? Are there, is, are there, are there, are there a training room? Are there a training room? Some, some training room. Some, no sé, algunos. Check the question. Ah. And the answer. And the answer, you have the question. Any training room. Uh -huh. Are there any, any training rooms? Training there any rooms. Training rooms? In your company, right? Next one, on-site clinic. How many clinics? One. One, is or are? Is there is. one is. clinic? Is there, there, is there one clinic on-site? Mm. Yeah. Is there a clinic? Ah, you, get, you need to use what's there. here. Is there there, there, there. On-site clinic, you need to use it. Mm -hmm. What is on-site? Um, okay, some companies, you can go to is, right? But if they have an on-site clinic, that means that the clinic is in the building, on the site where you work. Is, is there... Guys, is there in, the medicine? in the place yeah. you work, is there... is there a clinic where you work in your office? Is there... Is there... I'm asking no. you, is there a clinic there... in your office? No, there is no. No, there, no, there, there is no. So in that case, there is no on-site clinic on the site. No. Is there... But what is the meaning on on-site cl clinic? Oh, it's clinic, right? No, click nick. Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. okay. there's a typo. Clinic. Uh -huh. It's clinic. So clinic is where you go and, and, and the doctor can check on you, right? So on-site is en el lugar. Las, um. las empresas grandes tienen una clínica on-site. Mm -hmm. O sea que está ahí yeah. en la oficina, no hay que ir al seguro. Por ejemplo, that's an on-site clinic. You got it now? Yeah. There is a clinic. Is there an on-site clinic? In is, there a, yeah. is there an on-site clinic? In your uh, company, uh -huh. and the last I one. In yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. Are there are all... there any restrooms in your work? Mm -hmm. Are any there many restrooms? Restrooms. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any questions so far? 
No? Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and take attendance real quick because you're about to start creating a lot of examples. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ana María Chicón de García. Not present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landaverde. Not present. Fátima y Fejenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Your turn today, Fernando. 10 to 10, 10. Get your questions ready. Okay. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mavaladín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de los Hortos Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Gisela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. All righty, guys. Congratulations on the attendance. All right. I, we are just missing one person. So good job. Very responsible of your part. This is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to be working with examples. Okay. You will create questions using how is there and are there to talk about your workplace. Okay. So you can say, is there an elevator? Is there a conference room? Are there many bathrooms? Is there parking, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you're gonna create a, at least, give me a second. You're gonna create at least seven examples with is there and seven examples with are there. Include the answers, all right? How many examples with is there? Seven. 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 How many with are there? Seven. 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 All right. Go ahead and accept the invite, guys, and let's start working. Go for it. Try to do it in the next 10 to 15 minutes, no more than that. Miriam, Rena, did you get the invite? Yeah, same questions to all of you. Okay. So we must we have a text text on to so to para escribirla y la vean. New. Bye. Estamos listos. Quiero ver. Va, me dice cuando vean que estamos ya. Sí. Este sería. Is. Is there. Are there. Are there. Aquí empecemos entonces. Is there a parking in the book? Is there a park? Parking yeah. at work, sería no. At work. Yeah. Uy. Yes. There is. Yes. No. There isn't. Yes. Is there a garden in the work? Yes. Is there a garden 
Mm -hmm. A reception. Could be, is there a reception? Yeah, we cannot. Is, uh, there, it, a it, is there a reception area? Perhaps a reception area. Is there a reception? Okay. Is, make sure, is it, uh, make sure is, everybody writes the same, okay? I want the whole group to have the same question. Is there okay. a cafeteria in your office? Okay, is there a cafeteria? cafeteria? Is there in your office, right? A cafeteria. 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 Okay. Let me check. Is there, um, is there a place, place, a play, a, no say, a play, play room? Play room. Play, I, there, uh, room. I think that is game is room, there, right? Game, yeah, game room, play room. Game room in your job, in your company. Yeah. Good job, yeah. keep it up. Any questions? Mm, no. Mm. Alrighty. Yeah, from the money is there a big garden in the park? Okay. Um, is there is there a yeah. Is there a cell phone? Is there a cell phone care. Okay. Good job working guys. Make sure all of you have the same questions, okay? Help each other to create the 14 questions. 14 questions, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And ask the questions about your workplace, workplace, workplace related. Is, uh, seven, seven, seven R for H. Is there a pencil on the kitchen table? That's a good one, Carlos Armando, but make sure you use it work related. Oh, no. Work related, that. en relación al trabajo, acerca del oh. lugar donde, donde la gente trabaja. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going Antonio, I need you working too. Fatima, I need you participating too. Okay. Uh, so, sería, sería bien. Is there a pencil on the desk, desk table? It is a, okay. You need to talk about the places a in the desk. work. Oh. Now, is there a desk in in your office, for example? Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. is there a desk? Okay. So there is a living room in the in the, the work. Good job. <laughs> but instead of saying there is. Right? There is. Change the order. <coughs> is there a bar is game there, in the office? Is, is there a board game in the office? Okay, good. Is there a board game in your office? So Fatima, instead of saying there is, you need to say is there. Is there a reading room? Uh -huh. Living room in the work? Yeah, or at work. I said yeah, at work. At work, okay. Is there a warehouse in your company? There you go. That's another one. Make sure you all mm -hmm. have the same. Organize yourselves, guys. Work together. Organizense y trabajen juntos. Las mismas siete para todos. Okay. okay. All right, go for it. Okay. Any questions? No questions. No? All righty, good. No. Is there a clinic in your company? Uh-huh. Is there a clinic in your company? Uh -huh. 
Eh... Mira, pero no había que responder, la verdad no. Sí. Bueno, Teacher, okay. only question or uh -huh. with your answer? Okay. Questions and answers. So you practice them. Affirmative and negative. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Para hacer una pregunta negativa, siempre sería is, for example, is there or are there are there not is correct. Aren't. Oh. Aren't there, isn't there. Aren't there and this isn't there. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Now, remember that when you say that, it's like y que no hay oficina ahí. Uh -huh. Isn't there an office? Like, you know it's there, but you just want to confirm. Como que tú dices que está ahí, pero quieres confirmarlo. Y que no hay oficina ahí. Isn't there an office? Isn't there a clinic in your office? Isn't uh -huh. there a clinic in your office? So the only difference is the not. Isn't or are not. Isn't, isn't or aren't. That's right. Aren't. Aren't. Okay. Very good. How Bye. many? How many do you have with is? Uh, seven. Are there? Is complete. Uh -huh. And there is one, two, three. Three. Okay. Is there? Three. Uh -huh. Is there? Is there? Is there? Right. Yeah. Um, make sure, Rene, you have to provide questions too, okay? You have to create as well. Okay. Dele con tocho, usted puede. All right, any questions before I check on another group? Uh, no, no, no. All right, go for it. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there a doctor, a doctor in your company? Is is yeah. podría ser, is is there a training training room in your workplace? Yeah, that's another. Training room. Mm -hmm. How many is how many do you have with is? How many do you have with is? Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Very good. Have you started with R? ¿Ya empezaron con R? Yes. Ok. Very good. Keep it up. Reina, thank you for being here. I appreciate. There are many. Uh, thank you, Tisha. Hope you get better soon. And you... Is there? Um, is there... Is there... One TV in my bedroom? Uh, that's good. You can also say, is there a TV? Ah. Mm -hmm. Instead of one, you can say, ah. Okay. Is there mm -hmm. a TV in my bedroom? Yeah. Um, let me ask you something. Are you working or are you creating examples work-related? This is it's supposed to be work-related. Talking about the office and stuff. Um. No? No. Okay, no worries. Keep what you have. It's fine. Keep keep what you have. But the ones missing, create them into a work context. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But don't okay. worry. Keep the ones you have. It's fine. Mantenga las que ya tiene. Okay. Okay. Is there a... Um... Uh -huh. Miren. Is there a print, printer? Good in question. My office? Good question. Is there a printer? Good job. How many do you have with is? Is there a printer? Uh -huh. That's a good question, Miriam. How many do you have, girls? ¿Cuántas tienen? Esa sería la última. De is there. Okay. Yeah. Go with are there. Any questions? Okay. Mm, solamente teníamos, bueno, yo tenía una duda. Eh, uh -huh. Estábamos viendo en el grupo.
que daba el ejemplo de is there milk in the refrigerator ahí sería necesario como especificar digamos una botella una taza o estaría bien la oración así está bien porque acuérdense que vamos a ocupar is there para los incontables también uh -huh. ah, okay. entonces vamos a ocupar is there para singulares o sea una uh -huh. cosa por eso se dice y también acuérdense déjenme ponérselo de esa manera lo incontable obviamente no se puede contar vea entonces, lo manejamos como una unidad. Okay. Agua. Yeah. Is there water or any water? Is there any milk? Todas esas cosas incontables van con is. Ok. Mm -hmm. All okay. Good job. Keep it up. Ok. Yo creo que aquí está. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. What? Can you say oración? Pray. Sentence. What sentence? What oraciones tenemos que hacer? La pregunta. Sentences or, or questions? Questions. Question. Uh -huh. How many do we need, guys? Seven. Seven in total? No. No. Fourteen in total. Seven with is and seven. With How many do we have with is? Fourteen. Seven. Seven. And with seven. are? Seven. 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 Did you include answers? Yes. yes. Good. Is it work related? Is it work related? Is that relacionado con el trabajo? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Very good. Show me what you have, please. Okay. Are there... Entonces nos harían falta en Isterba. Una, dos, tres. Is there a meeting room in your workplace, for example? Uh-huh. That's good. Yes. There Are is. there printers in your workplace? Good, that's another one. All right, so make sure you all have the same. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, and then we'll go back, and, and, and I'll check them, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Eh, Puede mostrar de la, la captura. Que tuve un accidente, se me perdí el documento, pero la captura la deberían tomar ellas antes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Did you finish already? Sí, terminamos, yeah. pero eh, no yeah, sé si no tienen was. la captura. Pongan la captura ahorita, compartirla, la voy a tomar yo porque yo la tenía en el documento y lo perdí. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just checking if everybody finished. So, good. We only have a couple of minutes and we'll be back. Okay. Um, let me check. Hey, girls, did you finish? Girls and Saúl. Did you finish yeah. already? Uh, one, one, one. We need two more. One more, one more. Okay, then hurry up. We almost go back. Okay. Uh, hey guys, how are you doing? Yeah. Eh, queremos, queremos hacer una pregunta de Are there air conditioning in the office? Air conditioning. El aire acondicionado no se cuenta. Tendría que ser Is there air conditioning? Okay. Now, are there air conditioners? Tal vez. Eso si viendo uno, eh, refiriéndonos al aparato, ahí sí. Pero no es un contexto que se usa muy, muy, muy seguido. Ok. Uh -huh. Y si se, se, tendría que ser, is there air, air conditioning in the office? Uh -huh. That's right. Ok. How many do you have mm -hmm. with is? I, I can have a TV. Uh -huh. How many do you have? ¿Cuántas tienen? How many do you have with eh, this? The last, the last is there. Only four. All right. And how are, many do you are, have? Are there? 30. 30? 30. Se pasaron. No. no. Oh, 13. 13. 13. Good yes. job. Repeat after me, please, Carlos. 13. 13. 13. Good 13. Job. All right. Keep it up, guys. We only have like two more minutes top or three. All right. Okay. Do your best. You can do this. 
the answer is yes or no. Yes, there is, mm -hmm. or no, there isn't. That's right. Hey, what's up, Carly Vanya? Okay. Hi, teacher. How many do you have, guys? You finished already? Yes, finished. Yes. All right, very good. Make sure you answer any questions among yourself. We're going to be back in a couple of minutes. I'm checking every okay. every group. Okay, teacher. Air conditioners in your in your workplace. Uh, uh -huh. Are there some air conditioners? Uh, you can use. Are there any? Ah, okay. Any. Yeah. Any normally is used with questions and negative. Sí se puede ocupar en la pregunta, no hay problema, pero la gente lo ocupa así. Generalmente es, is there any? En vez de, is there some? Ok. Is there any? Some okay. casi siempre se ocupa para la respuesta. Gramaticalmente, ¿verdad? pero la gente la mayoría no le importa mucho. Anyways. Uh, you finished already? Yeah. 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 Okay, very good. Make sure you all have the same. We're going to go back in like two minutes. Hey, girls, how are you doing? How many do you have? In your workplace. Did you finish already? Not yet. Okay, hurry up. You got a minute. Time's running. Okay. Are there security cameras in your workplace? Are security there cameras. There security cameras. cameras. Mm -hmm. Cameras. That's right. Cameras. In your workplace, are there. Are there books in your office? Good question. Are there books in your office? Mm -hmm. Good one, Miriam. Good. Very good question. That's how I like to see you participating. Así me llega. Good job. Thank you. Are there many papers on everybody? All right, Fernando Ernesto, is there? Okay. Uh, is there a, a free Wi Fi on your company? Ah, free Wi Fi? Can you count free Wi Fi? Ah, for sure. Perdón, eh, free Wi-Fi nada más. Uh -huh. free, free Wi-Fi only. Is there free Wi-Fi? Correct. Vaya, guys. Péguenme su mejor tiro. La que, la que ustedes piensen que no les ha quedado bien. No la que saben que está chichi. ¿Ok? Um, ah. Roberto, R. Are there a lot of parking places? Parking places. What is the answer, guys? Affirmative. Yes, there are. And the negative? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. There aren't. Good job. Uh, Miguel is. Okay. Is there is there a clinic in your company? Answer, guys. Affirmative and negative. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. That's right. Carla Ivania, R. Is there are is that a sentence or a question? Is there <laughs> are don't oh, worry, it's fine. Are the window come again please? Are there windows in house? Are there windows in your house? Pues yo creo que tiene que haber, si no la gente se va a ahogar. Cambiémosle un poquito. Are there many? Are there many? Ajá. There you go. Good question. What is the answer to that, guys? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. No, there no, aren't. There aren't. No, there aren't. That's right. Uh, two more people. Sandra is. Is there. A bath in your workplace? Is there a what? Is there a bath in your workplace? A bag. Moon bolso? Ba bar. Ah, bar. a bar. Oh, no. Yes. No. 
What is the answer to that, guys? No. 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 Yes, there is. Yes, there is or? Yes, there is. No, no, there aren't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. That's right. Everybody crying, but okay. It's hey, it's the rules. <laughs> All right. And Catherine R. Are there security cameras in your workplace? Uh, Affirmative answer. Yes, yes there, are. There, are. there are. There are. And the negative? No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Aren't. no there aren't. Correct. All right, guys. So this is what you're going to do. I have changed the participants in each group. So what you're going to do is that you're going to ask these questions to each other. Okay? I changed your classmates in the group. So ask me a question, please. Anybody? De esto, vean, no me van a salir con neutralidades. Ask me a question, please. Anybody? Uh, are are there good salaries in your company? Yes, there are. <laughs> Unfortunately, not mine. <laughs> so I wanted to add more comments, guys. Not yes, there are. No, there are. Okay. More information. Ask me another one. Is there an elevator in your company? No, there isn't. But the good thing is that it's a one-story building. Mm. Ah, eso no se la podían ver. One story. <laughs> Es de una planta. No vayan a decir es one plant. One story house, one story oh, building. One story. ¿Y si tuviese dos pisos? Two story. Two story, story house. Story. Mm -hmm. That's right. Story. The last question. Ask me another one. Is there... Is there... Sorry, uh -huh. continue. Dele, dele, dele. Go ahead, dele. Go ahead. Is there a... <laughs> Is there a what? Yo sé... Company. Sorry, can you say it again, please? Okay, is there a smoke area in your company? Ah, is there a smoking area in my company? Well, oh. yes, there the is, street. but the it street. is outside. The street. But I am trying not to smoke. Okay, so you see, um, traten de agregar algo más. No sé qué en el, en el yes, there is, and no, there is. Okay, then, well, guys, go ahead and practice, try to have fun. And I'll see you back in about 15 minutes. Háganse todas las que puedan. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Hi. Hi. Uh, is there, Hi. Is there a conference room in your company? Are you Sandra or me? Uh, Sandra. Okay, repeat, please. Is there a conference room in your company? Yes. Yes, there is. More information. Are you very normal? No, there is. No. There excellent, is. excellent. Excellent. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Isela, is there a in your workplace? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand you. Okay. Is there a kitchen in your workplace? Right. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Make sure you give more information. So don't just say, okay. yes, there is, no, there isn't. You can say, yeah, there is. There is one next to my office, for example. Right? Always add one more comment to it. Okay, could you repeat your question, please? 
Alexander? Perdón, sorry. Can you repeat your question, please? Ah, okay. Um, is there a kitchen in the workplace? Kitchen. 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 Yes. Okay. There is not kitchen on my workplace, but we have a microwave. My. I'm oh, sorry? My. Microwave. Microwave. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, okay. you can answer with this one. I like the answer, Liliana. How, how would you like me to call you? Is that loud, Liliana? Both. Okay, it's like Liliana then. So make sure you say, yes, there is, no, there isn't. Just to practice, okay? Your answer is correct, but just to practice this, yes, there is, no, there isn't. And there, then you can say, uh, no, there isn't, but there is a microwave. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I got All it. Right. Go, keep it up. Make it like a round, round. Uh, Sandra, you was Isela, Isela, Jose Saul, Jose Sandra, I keep it wrong. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, let me ask. Um, are there any projects on your building? What is project projectors? I think. Projectors. Yeah. Yes, there is. No, there is. Should be. They are. There are, I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, yes, there are. Uh, they, there are in. Ah, okay. In this one, uh, Jose Saul, good job. But you have to choose one. If you say, if it's yes, you just say, yes, there are. Right? Solo eso. Yeah. Si hay, usted dice, yes, there are. The, if yes, there, there are, aren't. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. No, there aren't. Exacto. Si no hubiesen, usted dice, no, there aren't. Y ahí puedes eh, meter algo más, como por ejemplo, we need to buy one, tenemos que comprar uno, whatever. Ask again, Isela, please. Pregúntale de nuevo. Uh, same, uh, question. same question. Mm -hmm. Are there any projectors on your building or company? No, there aren't. We, uh, I need to buy uh, TV, I need to buy TV projector. Okay, great job. Good job, Jose Saul. Good, guys. Keep it up. Let me check another group. Any questions? Question. All right, keep it up. But, uh, I got a uh, job, and his name is uh, my ex boyfriend name. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes. And you, Carolina, uh, Miriam Carolina, uh, is, is there a dog in my house? Not in your house? No. No, they no. Aren't. no. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Good job. In the question, you have the answer, and the answer to the question. Continue. I'm not here. Okay. Uh, uh, is you there a parking lot in your workplace? Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Big parking. Nice. I like that one, Son Alfonso. Yes, there mm -hmm. is. It's a big parking, parking it's place. Big park. Right? Mm -hmm. So always add one more comment. Siempre un comentario más. Good job. Okay. Okay. Um, Ah, que aquí lo tenía. Ah, eh, after work, no, work in your company. Eh, soy yo repito. Work, 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 no, inglés, work. Ah. Como seguridad, no sé. Ah, ah security, work. Security, guard. 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 Ah. Mm -hmm. guard. But it's plural, right? Are there security guards? Guards. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, are there security guards in your company? With, with S, isn't it? Security guards. 
criticar. Guard. Con la S al final. Guards. Guard. Criticar. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there are a lot of security guards in my company. Guards. Guards. There are uh -huh. a lot of guards. Very good. Um, any questions, guys? Mm. Uh, no, no, in my case, no. Beautiful. You're doing great. Keep it up. Congratulations. Thank you. Company? Yeah, Jim, Jim Divo? Yes. Yes, yes. You. In, yeah, in, in JC, no. Oh, sí, cierto. <laughs> cierto. Allá no hay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only SA. Yes, yeah, SA y Limpa. <laughs> Cierto, no me acordaba que estaba en American Park. <ríe> no hay nada. Allá no hay nada. ¿ves? No. Ok. Um, is there a poll in your company? What? Sorry, ajá. Uh -huh. Repeat. Is there poll in your company? Mall. Mall. Pool, Centro ¿sí? comercial. Pool, pool, piscina. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, pool. No, there are, there isn't. Good. And no. good job, guys. I like it. No. Make sure you make another comment. No, no. there isn't. Unfortunately. Es como que lastimosamente. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. So always add <laughs> For one more comment. Uh -huh. Okay. No, okay. Another, another question. Uh, um, are there trucks in the company? Trucks. Trucks. Are Camiones? there trucks in the company? Yes, yes there are many trucks in my company. Good, good. I like it. Any questions, guys? Mm, no question. Okay. No question, keep thing. up the keep, keep up the good work and make sure that Roberto you ask questions too. Carlos, you ask questions too. Good job, guys. I like it. Okay. Are there big offices Are... in your workplace? Are... Are there? Big. Big offices. Big offices. Yes. Uh, yes, there are. Okay. Are there, are there trucks in the company? Trucks. Mm, no, they aren't. No, there are, pardon. No, they aren't. Oh. There aren't. Guys, good job using no, they aren't. And yes, there are. Okay. Make sure you add one more com one more comment. Yes. For example, are there big uh, offices in your company? Yes, there are. My boss's office is huge. La oficina de mi jefe es inmensa. So siempre oh. hay un comentario más. Cualquier cosa, cualquier evento, lo que ustedes sepan decir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there guests in your workplace? Are there guest rooms? Guest room in your workplace. Uh -huh, guest rooms. VP room. Guest room. Podría aplicarla como cerca de tu trabajo. Are there, are there restaurants near? No sé. <laughs> are right, there... so you, can, you can answer Hector's question. And then, Catherine, you can ask it. Repeat your question, Hector, please. Are there restrooms in your workplace? Is there restaurants in my trabajo or something? Restrooms. Restrooms. Pipi room. Publics. Baño, pues. Restrooms. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lo siento, le había escuchado mal. Este, yes, there are. Are there... Wait, wait, wait. Yes, there are. And the comments? Are there two bedrooms in my company? 
are there? There are. Oh, there are. There are. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are. There are three. two. There are two. Okay, good. Very good. Keep it up, guys. Any questions? Okay. No. no? All right. Good job. Um, hey, guys. Uh, uh, how to say uh, photocopiadoras? Se me ha ido. In English. Copy machine. Copy machine. For a copy machine. For a copy machine. Okay. Are there many for for a copy machines on your company? In your company? In your company. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Yes. For copy machine. Eh, ¿Cómo se diría? Aproximadamente entre tanto y tanto. Approximately around. Around of uh, four or five uh, photocopy machines. Mm -hmm. Very good. Fatima, I like your answer. Because you said, yes, there are. And then you can say, there are five. Creo que cinco dijiste, ¿no? There are yes. five. So, primero contestas con el yes, there are, no, there aren't. Y luego dices, there are uh, five. All right, keep it up. You still have one minute. I want to hear you both. Mm -hmm. Okay. William, you ask Fatima, and then Fatima, you ask William. You got 44 seconds. Okay. Uh, are there any training room? In your company? Are there any training rooms? In yes. your company? Yes, are there any training? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Mm -hmm. Then five rooms. There are five. Hello there. Uh, attendance real quick, and then we will share our work. Ana Hi. Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ada. Ada, Ada. Are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, God. All righty. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ana María Chicón de García. Present. Good job, girl. You made it. Eso me llega, guys. Finish. Traten de conectarse. Por ejemplo, Rina está súper enferma y se conectó. Héctor ha estado muy enfermo y se conecta. Ana María a veces enciende la cámara y viene en la moto. O en el carro, o a caballo, lo que sea. Pero, guys, No, pero cuando estoy en reunión con mi jefe, no puedo porque tengo que estar usando la computadora. Le estoy echando flores, hombre. No le riegue. Está bien. Gracias, Ana. Carla, Iván y Florena Serrano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. William se va de pie hasta los viernes. Edson Andoni y Guzmán Landa Verde. No, present. Fátima y Fejenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Fernando Hernández Morales. Fernando. Present. Oh, okay. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. No, present. Miguel Ángel Paz Onda Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Juan Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Marisa Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Saberna Mabelatín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Gisela Lilana Miranda Espinosa. Gisela. I'm sorry. Yeah, present. Okay, thanks. Uh, Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda de Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Present. Thank you very much. Hey, guys, 
good job. This is the first full house we have. Es el primer lleno total. Uh, si bien hay dos compañeros que nunca han participado con nosotros, ustedes ven que los, los, los tengo que nombrar por requerimiento de SAFOR, pero es el primer full house. Felicidades a todos, muchas gracias por su, por su desempeño. A veces sé que es muy difícil, Reina no se siente bien, Ana María llegó a, como sea a casa y se puede conectar, así que thank you very much for your dedication. All right? uh, something I want to mention, algo que les quiero mencionar es el mensaje que mandé el día de hoy. Eh, tengo que hacer un recap real quick, gracias por confirmarlo. Ya se mandó la información para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. ¿Cuándo es la fecha límite? 5 de mayo. 5. El 5 de mayo, no, oh, es not the 5 de mayo. 6 de mayo. 6 de mayo, ¿a qué horas? ¿Qué hora? Midnight. Correct. Um, ¿Qué tienen que hacer? ¿Qué tienen que hacer? Yo era teacher. Completo. Amendatero de recursos humanos. Ajá, pero ¿qué tienen que hacer aparte de mandar la documentación? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes tienen que cumplir? Cumplir con la plataforma, cumplir con asistencia y cumplir con los minutos. Ana María la voy a ocupar de ejemplo. Se conectó y eso le queda súper bien en la asistencia porque estuvo con nosotros, pero eso lo va a tener ¿cuánto? ¿20 minutos? Right? Lo cual ella sabe y va manejando su cantidad de tiempo. Okay. Así que buzos, no es lo mismo llegar que estar toda la clase. La cantidad de minutos cuenta. Um, y la evaluación, guys. Evalúenme como ustedes quieran. Ok. Si van a decir algo bueno, pues muchas gracias. Si van a decir algo malo, también gracias. Solo no se pasen ni inventen. Un poco así. Digan cómo se sienten, que así crezco yo. Y lo último, señores. Como les puse al final, las oportunidades se dan. Depende de ustedes y su esfuerzo si los toman o no. Okay. All right, guys. So let's do this. Um, I need volunteers to ask questions to the rest of the group, please. You can choose your victim or, or the, the people you work with and show me your work. No me he congelado, solo me quedo quieto esperando que alguien participe. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Fernando. Go ahead, Fernando. Choose a victim. Eh, vamos a hacerlo a su manera. Dígame el número. Del 1 al 4, 12, 16, 20, 21 vemos hoy. 22. Yes. Okay. Deme el número del 1 al 22. 22. 22. Yeah. yeah. Ah, pues es Saúl. Go for it. Eh, are there some restaurants near of your company, Jose Saúl? Yes, there are. Ajá, uh -huh, and the comment? Um, uh... Yes, there are uh, the restaurant uh, 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 the restaurant uh, and, uh, we have a subway we have a, 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 a Kentucky we have a, 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 a Come on, one more. Le puedo decir que lo deje. Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. Okay. McDonald's. Okay. Yo, José Saúl, now send, ask him back. Um, uh, um, to Fernando, right? Okay. Uh, no. Miguel Ángel. No, to Fernando. De devuelva, Sela. Ah, bueno, Fernando. Eh, Fernando, Fernando, are there, eh, are there, eh, are there many, many equipment in your work, in your company? Uh -huh. Equipment. Equipment. Uh -huh. Yes, there are. Uh, we have uh, 
a lot of computers. We have server, we have air conditioners, uh, for a copy machines, uh, desks. Okay. Uh, a lot of equipment. Good job. Round of applause for both of them, Jose Saúl and Fernando. I liked it. Guys, si ustedes ven, Fernando lo dijo más rápido. Se quedó trabado. Oh, God. Am I here, guys? No, 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 no. Hello? Hey, hey, can you hear me, guys? I'm here. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so as I was saying, um, sorry about that, you know. Um, thanks, God. Thanks, God. Yeah, thanks, God. Fernando lo dice más rápido. Vimos que a José Saúl también le, le costó un poquito más, pero ¿saben qué? Lo hizo bien. So yo no les pido que ustedes se nivelen a los demás o que hagan lo que ambos hicieron. Fernando dio lo mejor de él y José Saúl dio lo mejor de él. Eso es todo, guys. No se comparen. Este puede más, este puede menos. Los dos lo hicieron bien, cada quien a su nivel, a su ritmo, y poco a poco uno va encontrando su ritmo. Good job, José Saúl. Good job, Fernando. Another volunteer, please, and choose your victim. Uh -huh. Me, Roberto. Thank you very much, Roberto. Uh, with Carlo Duarte. Go for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are there industrial machines in your company? Yes, are there? Yes, uh, are there? Or of... Yes, there are. Yes, there are. So, uh -huh. Yes, there are. And my company. A lot many many machines. Mm -hmm. um, there are many machines. There are many machines. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Um good job. Eso es todo. Good job, Carlos. Ask back. Ask him back, please. Um are, uh, <laughs> is is there is there a warehouse in your company? Is there a warehouse in your company? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a big warehouse in my company. Very good. So you can say yes. Así como tú contestaste, está bien. Yes, there is a big warehouse. Pero acostúmbrense por el momento en la parte gramatical. Yes, there is. Punto. Y luego puedes decir, and then you can say, there is a big warehouse. So, contesten con yes, there is, no, there isn't. Y luego pueden decir lo que ustedes quieran. So, ask again, please. Ask again, Carlos, and Roberto, you answer again. Yeah. The same question. Uh, is, there, is there an elevator in your company? Okay. Roberto? No, there isn't. Unfortunately. ¿Cómo se dice desafortunadamente? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Roberto Carlos. Two more, please. Come on, let's get this rolling. Two more. Me, Sabrina. Go ahead, Sabrina. Choose. Miguel. Uh -huh. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> um, are there security cameras in your workplace? Yes, there are, Karina. Uh, I don't know how many, but a lot of. There are a lot. There are a lot. Good job. Ask back, please. Okay. Um, is there a park near your work? Yes, there is. There is um, a park, two blocks to my work. Two blocks away. Two blocks away to my work. Away from my work. 
from our. Uh -huh. All right. Good job, to Sabrina and to Miguel. Two more, real quick. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Ada. Choose your victim. Um, Fatima. Go for it. <laughs> the rest of you pay attention because this is good for you too. Go. Is there a garden in your company? Yes, there is. My company is a garden. Tu compañía es un jardín. No, no, no. My company, there is a garden. There is a garden in my company. In my company. Uh -huh. my Repeat company. everything, please. There is a garden in my company. Is there a, is there a garden in the company? In my company. Al revés, backwards. There is a garden in my company. Dale conmigo. There is a garden in the company. Good job, Fatima. Ask back to Ada. Are there many employees in the company? Yes, they are. Many, um, 25 employees. Uh, we are 25. We are, we are 25 employees. Okay. In good my job. Company. That's all I need. Ada and Fatima, good job for the rest of you guys. No es que me quede sin inter, es que de verdad quiero que ustedes quieran participar. Si no participan, no les ayudo. Guys, tomorrow we're going to be working with It's Not Allowed To. No está permitido tal cosa, así que espero que sea una clase algo divertida. I hope, crossing my fingers, practice that. It's Not Allowed To. And um, I hope to see you all. Gracias por estar todos. Thank you very much for the whole full house. Keep it that way. Okay? So, Fernando, I'm staying with you. The rest of you, hitting the red button. Get out of here. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Everybody hitting the red button. All righty. Fernando, tell me, sir. Okay. Uh, and I estado está hablando con unos amigos que son de call center. Uh -huh. Y estamos hablando un poco de, de cuando yo ya eso ya es de otro tema, del pasado. Uh -huh. eh, los lo que me decía que algunas personas allá en, en Estados Unidos, sí, Ana María, aquí saluda, Ana María, María. bye, <risa> give me a second, ok, goodbye, Ana María, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Continue. Eh, eh, me dice que en Estados Unidos algunas personas eh, a veces no se les entiende que están hablando en, en pasado, pero por el contexto nosotros sabemos que están hablando en pasado, uh -huh. porque a veces solo dicen al final las weekend eh, y no, les, no se entiende el, el, el verbo que lo dijo en pasado a veces, cuando son uh -huh. de los que terminan en ED, por ejemplo. Okay. Bye, eh, yo, yo tengo problemas un poco con la pronunciación que se me va. O sea, yo no logro los verbos, aunque los practique, quitarle eso de que, de que no le digo, cómo no decir el DD, pero el DD, pero al final decirlo en pasado. O sea, eso me cuesta un montón. Um, déjame ver si te entendí. ¿Te cuesta la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado? En los regulares, cabal, en pasado. Ajá. Ok, ok, vaya, démosle. Vaya, cabe mencionar por tu comentario anterior que una cosa es practicar los solitos. Y otra cosa es hacer el link, la sí. unión con la siguiente palabra. Entonces, a veces cuando ellos te hablan, eh, la manera en la, que, en la en la que lo linkean hace que no se entiende mucho y dependa del contexto, dependa del sí, complemento. Okay. So, for example, si yo te digo, hey, you know what, I worked yesterday. Ajá, o sea, trabajé ayer. Ajá, pero I yo worked... le entendí de que por el yesterday, pero yesterday. la diferencia entre el work y el work, uh -huh. eso Now, es lo que... I work... I work. Ajá. Y el otro, como va a ser, I work. Y aquí va la T. I work. La T. Ajá. Ya puse, porque work, vaya. Vamos a hacerlo super quick. Los que terminan en explosión, ¿te puedes memorizar las Sí, me acuerdo las letras, una tablita, ¿verdad? que cuando empezó terminaban en T en la pronunciación. Exacto. Otros terminan en, en Entonces, T, otros en, en ST, algo así. Casi, casi, casi. Los que terminan en explosión, por ejemplo, work. Uh -huh. Work. 
o los que terminan en aire, por ejemplo, wash, estos wash. van a ir con pronunciación de T. Ah, ok. Ok. Por ejemplo, work. Work. Un poquito más de T. Que... Work. Ajá, work. Work. Exagerala, no importa, exagerala. Después work. la voy a ir suavizando. Work. Sí, porque si le digo, hey, yo siento que si le estoy diciendo así, es como que le estoy diciendo cuando es... Hay una palabra que es W O R T H que no me recuerdo qué significa. Worth, como valor. Valor, ajá, darle valor uh -huh. a eso. Como que uh -huh. si estoy pronunciando, pronunciando eso, siento que lo digo. Vale. Worth. Hace esto. Uh -huh. Tamal. Tomate. Tamal. Tomate. Ahora sostenerlo un poquito, como que te vas a quedar Tom. sin aire. Ta. 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 Y fíjate dónde pones la lengua. Tenés que ganar conciencia de cómo es tu boca, la posición de cómo articulas para producir ese sonido. Entonces, generalmente, Word sube la lengua a, aquí atrás uh -huh. y como que Word. acumula aire Word. para explotar. Uh -huh. Word. Uh -huh. Word. Solo esto hace primero. Uh -huh. Se siente Ahora se... uno detrás de los dientes se pone la lengua. Exacto. Ahora vas a decir Word. Word. Ahí vamos. Ajá. Work. 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 Ajá. Work. Work. Uh -huh. Que no te salga el tss tampoco. Uh -huh. Solo explotalo. Work. <ríe> Work. Ahí vamos. Muy bien. Work. Uh -huh. Ajá. Esa es la pronunciación. Entonces, tú puedes, tú puedes decir, hey, I worked. I worked. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso yo trabajé. Pero cuando tú lo linkeas... Uh -huh. Los que terminan en, te, en sonido de T y D casi siempre se linkean, especialmente si es, una, si es una vocal. Pero vos vas a decir, I worked yesterday. I worked yesterday. Entonces, en vez de tú hacerle así, work, uh -huh. cuando tú pones la lengua en la posición de la T, work, de ahí mismo sacas la Y. Yeah. 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 Work yesterday. Yeah. Uh -huh. I worked yesterday. I worked Yesterday. Ajá. Entonces siempre se va. Los que ya tienen el oído más desarrollado van a entender ese golpe. Work yesterday. Fíjense que, bueno, en mi caso, uh -huh. yo entiendo bastante escucharlo porque ahorita, bueno, de lo que yo trabajo, eh, la mayoría de, de documentación y cursos que yo escucho son en inglés. Uh -huh. y, y entiendo la mayoría porque incluso hay diferentes acentos. O sea, yo estoy ahorita en un curso donde, yeah. donde hay un, como que no sé si es ruso o ucraniano, porque ese, ese acento le escucho que aprendió inglés. Supermercado. Ah, sí, o sea. I would like incluso, to get... sí, ajá, 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 cabal. Y, y también el problema a veces ahí es de que no le logro entender qué dijo, porque tengo, yo, yo pongo, hay los subtítulos, pero los subtítulos no son precisos. Uh -huh. En inglés son los subtítulos, pero no son precisos. Y a veces es como que cuando va a hacer algo, él dice como que una palabra que dice Shelby. Y no sé qué quiere decir él, si es show it o Shelby, o no sé qué quiere decir. De lo único que se me viene es el Shelby Mustang. <risa> Ajá, o sea, anyway. así dice él y repite y repite bastantes veces ah. eso. Entonces, lo siento si te voy a matar con esto, pero... Y los ejercicios no, okay. que, que les he dejado... Para listening, para pronunciación. Ah, no, haces? claro. Sí, sí, este, tengo que... Te, yo, he estado, yo escucho, okay. yo veo series en inglés y los trato de escuchar y, y entiendo bastante y agarro de ahí. No es solo eso. Sí, pero lo que he estado viendo, por ejemplo, ahí, yo he estado viendo algunas series y a veces es como que él, él dice, ah, that is funny. Y en realidad, la, la, la traducción dice, es como que... Eh, la traducción no tiene nada que ver con lo que dice. Exacto, exacto. Vaya. Entonces, eso es a lo que yo voy. Vamos a terminar con esto rapidito. Entonces, decí sí, conmigo, washed. Washed. La T es nuevo, fuerte, washed. 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 Que washed. explote. Washed. Washed. Mm -hmm. Que se suene. Que, que se washed. suene. Washed. Washed. Más fuerte. Washed. Mm -mm. Washed. Hacele así. Más fuerte. Ahora vas a separar, vas a decir wash y después la T, como yo. Ok. Wash. Wash. Más fuerte esa. <ríe> wash. Es wash. Ay, eso necesito, justamente wash. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dale. Wash. 
eso, exagerarlo, obviamente no vas a hablar así de No, obviamente, tengo pero, que irlo moder moderando. Exacto, ¿okay? exacto. Ahora, los que terminan en, 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 en vibración, uh, por ejemplo, uh, give me one, give me one, give me one, afford, que es este, por ejemplo, podérselo costear o podérselo permitir. Ah, este Vamos a pasar por eso. Este termina en id. Okay. Id. Dale conmigo. Id. Id. Pero es con de verdad. Id. Como que vas. Id. Id. Eh, eh, id. 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 Entonces vas a decir id. afforded. 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 Es que, que no tengo que decir did. Es afforded it. Exacto. Afford El otro. Okay. Accept. Accept it. Ac accept it. Ted. Ted. Accept it. Entonces esa es la otra. Los que terminan en sonido de T y sonido de D van con it. Y lo okay. otro, por ejemplo, reserve. Ah, reserve. Uh -huh. Ajá. Esto va a terminar en vibración. Reserve. Uh. Siempre, ese es con, siempre con D al final. Uh, o ID. Este, este es con D ya. Ah, ok. Entonces vas a decir reserved. D. Reserved. Ajá, como la D de David. Ajá. Reserved. Uh -huh. ah, reserved. Reserved. Uh -huh. Estás diciendo id. Y vas a decir okay. David. La última de reserved. 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 Seguís con la I. Uh -huh. Solo vas a decir Decir David. Reserved. David. 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 ¿Cómo te queda la lengua? David. Uh -huh. como, como, como que la mostré y mordiendo. David. Ajá. Entonces, reserve. 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 Con la D de David. Vaya. Reserve. Uh -huh. Esto uh -huh. obviamente lo tienes que practicar. A lo sí, que bastante, bastante. Es lo siguiente. No es lo mismo que tú veas algo porque los subtítulos te van a mandar, pero a la luna. No, 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 o sea, no, no, no hay contexto, o sea, incluso hasta lo Exacto. sacan de contexto porque ellos tratan de darle una interpretación, no le dan más que, Exacto. no es la traducción, es una interpretación. Entonces, no es así. lo que tú vas a hacer es buscar audios en, en línea. ¿Letras eh, de canciones en inglés? Sirve, pero el problema con la canción es que no siempre está gramaticalmente adecuado uh -huh. y generalmente tratan de adaptar o modificar la pronunciación para que le pegue la melodía. Sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Que extienden la pronunciación de una letra, etcétera. Entonces... Escribime personalmente, te voy a recomendar una, una página web, que creo que ya, ya te la había recomendado, y tenés que hacer siempre eso, escucha, solo escucha, lee, okay. la segunda vez lees, la tercera vez escuchas, pones pausa y repetís exactamente como lo escuches, es, el, es lo que hemos hecho casi siempre conmigo. Sí, correcto. ¿Verdad? Entonces lo vas a hacer tanto hasta que te salga lo más probable. Puchica, me tardé cinco minutos en una línea. Dale. Y luego te pasas a la otra. Tenés que hacerlo todo. Una vez lo haces todo, tenés que poder leer encima del audio. O sea, pronunciarlo encima del audio. Que vos vayas idéntico encima del audio. Y luego de eso tenés que grabarte. Y comparar. Sí. Esto me salió, sí. esto no. Es eh, un trabajo creo... arduo, pero eso te va a ayudar mucho, Fernando. Y cree que por lo menos, es que fíjese que por lo menos yo el tiempo, yo, yo, yo tengo bien fregado mi tiempo, de verdad, y trato de, porque también estoy en otros cursos de tecnologías nuevas que tengo que aprender por mi trabajo. Uh -huh. Entonces yo trato de, de dedicarle tiempo a esto, pero yo sé que no es el suficiente porque tendría que dedicarle más. Correcto. O sea, yo ahorita estoy en proceso de que lo que quiero es eh, empezar a tener, eh, a aplicar a, a lugares, a, a plazas donde me van a entrevistar completamente en inglés. Okay. Y posiblemente el aspecto técnico lo cumpla, pero si no cumplo el idioma, no, por gusto, pues. Por eso ni estoy, porque me han llamado, me han llamado a diferentes lugares, pero yo les he dicho que no por el inglés. ¿Sabes Simple, qué? sencillamente. Vale, te voy a decir, como ya, ya, no, ya nos pasamos un poquito, pero igual okay. te voy a decir. Número uno, me dijo una persona de los que levantó un call center muy grande, que ahorita es el número uno, en una reunión que tuvimos, me dijo, te dan oportunidades laborales, aplica. Uh -huh. Aunque no tengas el inglés. Depende del lugar. Si vos consideras que se te va a cerrar una puerta, mejor no apliques hasta que estés listo. Ajá, es que eso, por eso ¿verdad? más que todo. Pero claro. si vos podés, anda. Primero, porque el nerviosismo te va a fregar todo. Anda y vos vas a ver el tipo de preguntas. Uh -huh. It's up to you. Es tu decisión. Uh -huh. Segundo, tiempo. No hagas la excusa. 
que okay. si bien no tenés tiempo, cuando te estás bañando, dale play. No es paja. Sí, un teléfono lo... ahí ya, ya están a prueba de agua también. Exacto. Y lo otro, el que mucho abarca, poco aprieta. Correcto. Buzo también. con eso también. ¿Ok? okay cierto. De lo contrario, estoy muy feliz con tu participación. Siempre soy de los que está participando. Te metes a todas las clases, todo el tiempo. Sería así que va bien. Pero, again, ya sabes que tenés que mejorar. Sí. Atacalo. Y cualquier okay. cosa, me preguntas. ¿Ok? Ok. Cero claro, excusas y métale ganas. Ok. Have Gracias. a good night, brother. See you tomorrow. Bueno. Bye. Buenas noches. Adiós.